Back. Let's dig into the race for Denver mayor as it stands at this hour with Denver City Councilwoman Robin Kanich, who has not endorsed a candidate in the in the race for mayor um, and will be leaving uh, City Council at the end of this term. Surprised that Mike Johnson and Kelly Bruff appear to be runaway leaders in the race at this point. I mean, 10, 10 percentage point leads. Not surprising, and I think raw numbers are better to look at than percentages right now. We're in the 22,000 vote range and not necessarily huge margins over the 14% numbers when you look at the raw vote counts, but sizable leads and not surprising. They had the most television advertising, and that's what gets you name ID in a race where no one knew anyone. Yeah. So, and then you look at the folks who are currently in third and fourth place and might harbor hope tonight of making into that runoff. And two very different tales there. You've got a Democratic Socialist endorsed candidate, Lisa Calderon, who had a really difficult time raising money, currently in third place. And Andy Rougeau, the Republican who kicked $850,000 of his own money into the race to go up on TV, he's in fourth place. Do either of them have a realistic shot to make the runoff? Unlikely. I think Lisa Calderon came into this race with a base. She came into this race having run a recent race and having some name identification. She also has a Latino surname in a city that has a large Latino voter base. She's first on the ballot. A lot of those advantages. She had a volunteer base with her endorsements. All of that worked to her favor. Not quite enough to make up for the name ID and the advertising. You have an Andy Rougeau who has a built-in Republican voter base, and they're looking for the candidate who they can vote for and obviously picked up some of his unaffiliated. Who knows? Maybe some of those Democrats who were attracted to that message. But I think it's a big hill to climb. So let's just suppose that this moves forward in a runoff, and it is Mike Johnson and Kelly Bruff. I think we can safely assume that the vast majority of Andy Rougeau's voters are going to go to Kelly Bruff. Tougher with Lisa Keller, and I can imagine a lot of her supporters saying, I'm not going to vote for either of those folks. They see them both as corporate interests. Do you think the endorsements really matter, or does it come down to what Johnson and Bruff do during the runoff between now and June? I think voters have always a motivation about who they're voting for and who they're voting against. I think there are a lot of questions about the records of both of these candidates. And, you know, Kelly Bruff really benefited from this large field. There was a lot less scrutiny on her record. There are a lot of votes that um, happened in this city on ballot measures. There are a lot of issues that she was a part of on the chamber, and those are going to get a lot more scrutiny in a smaller setting with two candidates than they did in this large field. And I think that you might see voters motivated about those positions and concerned about her leadership in the city. And you might see groups, you know, the largest progressive union in our city did not take a position yep, in this. Set it out. Yep. And so when you see groups like that decide to get engaged in the in the runoff, you might see some of those voters attracted, maybe not for, but against. Before we step away, Park Hill Golf Course taking it in the shorts tonight, down 20 percentage points in the early voting. I mean, listen, you've wrestled with this on council for years. Are you surprised that it might go down by this kind of a margin? No. I think that we had so many voters who believed this was a city park. So there's a large group of people who simply were confused. They thought this was a city park. They thought the city owned it. You had other folks who understood that it was privately owned and just really, really wanted us to buy it and make it a park. I think the deep, deep concern over development in this city and, and the desire to really have a different path. We could spend hours talking about what's going to happen with that property if uh, 2-0 goes down, but we'll save that for another night, Alex.